ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਸੀ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇਖਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਹਰਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਤੇ ਆਓ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਮਾਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਅਹਿਮ ਖਬਰ ਤੇ ਆਂਚਾਰੀਓ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਸਕੂਲ ਖੁੱਲ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ 'ਚ ਖੁੱਲਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਪਰੰਤੂ ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਮਾਪਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੂਬਾ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਕਈ ਫੈਸਲਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਦੁਵਿਧਾ ਬਣੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਸਕੂਲ 'ਚ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਦੇ ਵੱਧਦੇ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਕਈ ਮਾਪੇ ਅਤੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੁਣ ਸਕੂਲਾਂ 'ਚ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਵਜਾਏ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਨੂੰ ਚੁਣ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਐਸੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਂਟਾਰੀਓ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਸਟੀਵਨ ਡੈਲ ਜੋਕਾ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਸੀ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਈ ਅਹਿਮ ਵਿਸ਼ਿਆਂ ਉੱਪਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੇ ਸੋ ਡੈਲ ਡੂਕਾ ਲੀਡਰ ਆਫ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਫ ਆਂਟਾਰੀਓ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਲਾਈਨ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਰਿਗਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਸਕੂਲ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਸਮ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਡੂਕਾ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਰੈਡੀ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ it's great to be back on thank you so much for having me thank you so much so today we have 313 cases highest since early june yeah i know it's a scary number to know that uh, things are climbing again i know that for so many months people across ontario worked so hard to flatten the curve and bring the numbers down and now as we head into the fall season as you mentioned with schools reopening and the flu season that's going to be here before we know it it's so uh, it's really uh it's just a little bit scary to see the numbers climbing again so i sincerely hope that we'll work hard together to make sure that we can flatten the curve again uh, mr duka uh, we have uh, positive cases in at least two schools already during this weekend garth webb secondary school in oakville and bent hills public school in burlington similarly we are hearing that there are five cases in the campus of uh, uh, western ontario U- university many cases are reported at many these kind of places particularly our educational institutions so kids have yeah. not gone fully back to schools many schools are still not open even we are hearing that many parents or many children are opting online in peel district also thousands of them instead of going in class so still there is a lot of confusion yeah for sure and i think you know We, we everybody across ontario knew that reopening schools was going to be difficult because you know it is a pandemic of course but i think what made it even more difficult is the fact that for too many weeks now doug ford has not had a clear plan or communicated very clearly uh, to the people of ontario about what to expect and i know even in my case my older daughter went back to school today and our younger daughter goes back to school tomorrow but i know that there are literally thousands of families who have just been very stressed out have lots of anxiety lots of again confusion about what to expect and so uh, i know for example we just heard the news the other day that in peel region thousands of families made the decision just in the last couple of days which is now prolonging the reopening of schools there and even though it was going to be tough to reopen schools the dug force made it worse because he hasn't shown real leadership on this and i think if they had started their homework much earlier on even though it would be tough we'd be in a much better position and that's a real shame especially now that we see the numbers climbing again premier is saying that he will not take any second thought if he has to close down these schools again if number rises in the schools yeah and i appreciate that but i think i would have preferred it as a parent if he had started his work earlier on this and put us into a stronger position so it's good to say that if there's a problem we'll close schools but if he started his work 5 or 6 months ago if he dedicated enough resources to make sure that class sizes were kept small uh, i think we'd be in a much better position than we are right now the biggest problem is is the funding also they are saying that we are giving funding to the school that at the same time they are advising school boards to use their reserve funds schools are not boards are not ready for that so where is the gap where is the confusion mr duka Yeah, so Doug Ford's plan, his initial plan calls for investing about 78 cents per day per child for the public education system. So your listeners have to think about that. 78 cents per day per child. It's just it's not enough money to get this done in the right way. And I I have been calling on Doug Ford since the beginning of August to step forward with real investments, real money. We saw that Prime Minister Trudeau in late August came up with an additional 740 million dollars for Ontario for schools specifically and then Doug Ford chose to only use 10% of that to make class sizes smaller. And worse, last week we saw the report from the financial accountability officer 
that shows that Doug Ford has not yet spent close to $7 billion in monies that were reserved to deal with pandemic relief. So I don't really know what game he's playing. When you think about how important public education is for the safe reopening of our economy, the safety and protection of our kids and parents, grandparents and educators, uh, and all of, you know, all of, all of uh, how important education is with respect to economic competitiveness, I really wish Doug Ford had just shown more leadership on this one. And I say that not as a politician, but as a father. I just, I think he's really been missing in action. As we have discussed already a couple of times that most of the money has been sent by the federal government. Most of the relief 97. has been, yeah. 97%. Yeah. So what the provincial government is providing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so the total number is 97% has come from, for Ontario, has come from the federal liberal government and about 3% has come from the provincial conservatives. And as I said a second ago, there's close to $7 billion that was earmarked earlier on this year for pandemic relief that Doug Ford has yet to spend. Mostly, and that's in areas that mostly relate to health care and, uh, and to job creation, which to me makes no sense, especially when you consider the crisis that we had in long-term care. So he needs to step up and show more leadership. We as liberals will keep pushing him hard to do so, and I and I hope that he does. Um, Ms. Luka, last week, uh, this, this weekend, I had to go to a couple of uh, uh, stores in Brampton area. I have met many people, and they're telling me that their landlords are not applying for the rental assistance program, and they are paying full rent even when they're doors were closed when their stores were closed and these people are almost at the verge of collapse at the verge of closing down where is the lapse in this implementing this uh, rental assistance program yeah i think this program from the very beginning has been uh, badly designed and very flawed and i've heard from people right across ontario uh, both both landlords and those who are renting or who have leases for their commercial businesses that the program doesn't work very well, too many questions and too little clarity. And so I had I had hoped earlier on that both the federal government and the and the progressive conservative government provincially would go back to the drawing board with a plan or a program that would actually produce the outcome we're all looking for, and they've yet to do that. So I've heard the same story. Again, I, when I think about the fact that Doug Ford has underspent close to $7 billion, it makes me think that there's a lot more he could be doing in particular to help protect small business entrepreneurs, which we really need to do. Last time when they had a press conference, a virtually press conference, I asked these two questions to Premier. First was regarding this rental assistance program. He didn't reply directly to me. He said, Mr. Saini, yes, a very valid question. We are going hard on those kind of landlords. Nothing was done. Second question was about the ethnic media. I asked, I asked him that we guys are struggling. We are the sole information provided to our communities. Most of the immigrants, they don't speak neither English nor, nor French. So their own native language is the source of information for them. Then that's what we are doing. But we have not got even single penny. And I'm saying on record, Mr. Duca, we have not got even single penny neither from the federal nor from the provincial government so far. Yeah, and I, I, I'm right there with you. Months ago, I sent a letter to the premier saying that we, you know, that the government needs to step forward to support, um, you know, ethnocultural media. As you said a second ago, thousands and thousands of Ontario families now receive and consume their, their news and their information from uh, individuals like you and your team, Provosti. This has been a very tough time. We saw, especially earlier in the pandemic, a lot of advertising revenue drop, uh, drop quite a bit. So, again, when when you haven't, when you're underspending seven billion dollars, you le you're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. And so, again, I would say here publicly, I hope Doug Ford will reconsider, realize that he's got to show leadership. But when you're the premier of Ontario, step up and provide support and help and relief where he can, and he's got the money to do so. I mean, that's clear in the report last last week. Uh, he's not yet uh, invested the $7 billion that was earmarked for all of these items and for more, and I hope he will. Okay, thank you, Mr. Duca. Thank you so much. Anything you'd like to add at the end? No, I just hope that right across Peel region and across Ontario, everybody continues. Thank you so much. You have a good time, Mr. Duca. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Duca, the $7 billion is $7 billion. ਉਹ ਪਏ ਹੋਏ ਹੈ 
ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਪਰ ਕੱਦ ਲਈ ਰੱਖੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਰਿਲੀਫ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਰੈਂਟਲ ਅਸਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੋਵੇ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਈਵਨ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਵਾਲੇ ਲੋਕ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੰਗ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਐਡਵਰਟਾਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਬੰਦ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਔਰ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਟੋਰਸ ਬੰਦ ਸੀ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਿਸ ਬੰਦ ਸੀ ਐਡਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਪੁੱਲ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਤਰ ਸੋਰਸ ਹੈ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਐਡਵਰਟਾਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਚਾਹੇ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਹੋਵੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਅਖਬਾਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਐਸੇ ਔਖੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਉਹ 500 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਫੰਡ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਵੱਡੀਆਂ ਵੱਡੀਆਂ ਕਾਰਪੋਰੇਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ ਹਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਡੇਟ ਤੱਕ ਕੋਈ ਪੈਸਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਖੁਦ ਡਗ ਫੋਰਡ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ ਯੂ ਬੈਕ ਔਰ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਕੀ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਹਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ